Well, here we are. And now I have less sleep than usual, so hopefully my words are a little more coherent. <laughs> um, yeah, it was due to this uh, double upload shenanigans, slowly draining the life force out of me, but hey, if I don't do it, then this playthrough is gonna take ages. I don't wanna make the same mistake twice, you know? One shot has already dragged on long enough, I don't need DDLC to drag on for decades. I have other stuff to do as well. But rest assured, I'm definitely giving this all my commitment. Hopefully. Now, last time, I uh, did the Sayori route on the first day, so I'm actually gonna go back to the first poem screen and do the Natsuki poem. Alright, so since it seems like I'm going through... Yeah, it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Like Natsuki. She's my favorite. Well, she's... She's... Alright. Wait, no, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, alright? Natsuki has, you know, some qualities that I find endearing. There you go. You happy? Yeah, so it seems like I'm going to go through the motions again, unless I pick, like, skip unseen text, but I might accidentally skip new text. So, I'm gonna just show what's new. But for now, let's just do the poem. Uh, okay, so... We're going for the Natsuki. Anime. Um, candy? Yep, that's. Uh, let's see if I can get a perfect. Parfait. Uh, lollipop. Um, skirt? Yes, okay. Uh, bouncy. Um, kawaii. Hard? Uh, that might be a Sayori thing. Passion? Maybe a Sayori thing. Uh, dance! No! Okay, well, I already met. It's fine. I got another chance at day two. Pure! Um... Valentine? Uh, sure, we'll have a- we'll have a Yuri one. Holiday! Um... Precious. Universe. Okay, I'm getting less Natsuki ones. Papa! Oh yeah, apparently Natsuki's father is a bit of a jerk. Can't wait to meet him in the side stories, maybe. Uh, what's that doing there? Sorry, uh, I kind of blacked out for a little bit. Don't mind me. Uh, Joy! Uh, I'm getting more Sayori ones. Um, uh, um, Melody! Uh, oh, Pout! Jazz! Oh, okay, that was a Sayori one. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed at something. Why, is she annoyed at me before I even approach her? <laughs> Imagine that. Just my very presence gives her angst. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized? If someone else is just gonna mess it up! Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Mangu. You read manga, right? Ah, I mean, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. Okay. How did you know anyway? Sorry I had some technical difficulties and I sorted them out, but as you can see, I had to go back a little bit, and that's why there's a skip option right there. I heard you brought it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, I see. I think she's just saying that you're a person of culture, you know? People who read the manga before the anime are cultured people. Unfortunately, however, I watched the anime first, which people will disagree with, I'm sure. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better! Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Par 
Or Fae Girls? It's a series of, uh, never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. Well, you're not cultured enough. If you're gonna judge, you can do it through the glass on that door. <laughs> she points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. She can see it on your face, Ionara. You're as transparent as the glass on that door she's pointing to. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Ionara. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. You know what, you're right. I've, I've learned that after encountering Sayori, Yuri, you, Monica, woo! You guys, you guys pull a lot of surprises, you do. That's think he pulls out the first volume of Parfait goes from the box. It's also, uh, almost meta in a way, Natsuki telling me that, you know? Wait, meta? Metaverse! Da, 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 da. I want to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attires striking animated feminine poses. You sure you didn't just give me a, a, a cover for a DDLC? It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. <sighs> Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. On the ground? Wouldn't the chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Ah! You know, it worked for me and Yuri, but I guess because Yuri's doing it, you want to stay as far away from Yuri's influence, Mr. Uh, Mrs. Polar Opposite. Eh? Why is that? Ah, uh, I guess it's easy to be close together like this. <laughs> Don't just say that! You make me feel weird about it. Mate, this situation is already weird. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Alright, thanks for uh, respecting my personal space there, Natsuki. <clears throat> I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I wouldn't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder much more eagerly to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older ver volumes every now and then? No, not really. Maybe sometimes after I've fin already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, depends on who you're, ta you're talking about. I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like there's a bunch of friends in high school. Typical, uh, slice of life affair. Like school days. Mmm, classic. Slice of life. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, uh, oh, come on. Let's all admit it, sometimes we, wa we read a slice of life manga not for the story, if you know what I mean. But for the magnificent art style, am I right, guys? Yeah? Alright, you're moving mad, TK. Let's get out of here. Is there gonna be plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean... Oh, I guess I know what you're saying. Ah, you know, sometimes I like simplistic plots. I don't... Sometimes I just want to read or watch something without much thought, you know? But never, never trashy movies. No, I stay away from those. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessing... Uh, where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of high school drama. Like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it so good. There's so many touching parts. Ah, is that so? Hmm, if I were to recommend a manga... Hmm, that I was reminded of just now. Oh! Is it called Seishu and Forget? Yeah, 
I encountered that recently. It's a pretty decent read. Then again, I'm, I'm a very harsh, uh, I'm a very bad critic. I'm very uh, lenient. Sounds like you know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you, Natsuki. <laughs> hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, it is as you say, Natsuki. Don't judge a book by its cover. Natsuki gives me a little shove. Then she punches me to oblivion. One punch woman. I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. This isn't even her final form, Ionaro. <laughs> okay, enough. Sorry. I just can't help with these editing quirks. The thing is, nothing is happening on my screen right now. But you get to have all the fun. I have to edit it in. <laughs> uh, this chapter seems like it's about baking. It's your favorite, Natsuki. You love making cupcakes. It's just a guess, but is there, is there a lot of baking in this manga? Oh well... Natsuki pauses for a moment, as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Well, why does that matter? I mean... You know, people can relate to mangas better if they find something they like in it. For instance, baking! Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... Just a coincidence! I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Yeah, that's it. Like, I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. Wait, what? I feel bad for anyone that's imp that impressionable. Hey, man. I made a lot of stuff on my YouTube channel that was from inspiration. It's... My, my stuff's mainly inspiration. Without that... I don't know, my stuff would be flimsy or boring or non-existent. My- I relish in my inspirations, it's become part of my work. Still, of all of the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Yeah, it's nice and productive. And edible, mmm. Not to mention, she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh, here we go. Are you gonna freak out with those pixelated eyes, or are we gonna have a normal conversation right now? We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. Da -da -da. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not! Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so, Natsuki. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Well, I tried to get some people to pick up a Doctor Who. Mmm. Uh, especially the David Tennant series, I like that one. And Christopher Eccleston. And Matt Smith! And Peter Capaldi. You don't? Um... That's not... Oh, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez! Hi, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They think- they just think manga's for kids- Oh hoo hoo! Woo! Have them read School Days then, hmm. Have them read any sort of horror, gory manga- For Pete's sake! Manga's for kids? Who are they kidding? Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me wanna punch them in the face! Ooh, you're, you're a punchy one, aren't you? You got punchy lines and a punchy fist. Ah, uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser. So I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. Oh, your dad, huh? Yeah, I wonder what he's like. He sounds like a very pleasant gentleman. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading your book. Well, it's not like it solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Well, I hope so. Uh... So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? 
Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh... Spoilers? Uh, I shouldn't be talking about that part yet. Uh, just finish the chapter. Why, do you relate to Minori? Are you one of the minority that relates with Minori? It's a stark contrast to your usual bossy tone. You know, yeah, I, I like I like you when you're like more up, up, upbeat and cheery, Natsuki. But you know, it's understandable that you release your pent up, uh, maybe after your home situation. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that, and being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience, the thought makes me a smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Yeah. Are you all ready to share today's poems? Hmm. I thought it'd be longer. Yours was definitely longer, I think. Or it took me longer to read it. Or am I just having some bias with the second uh, run? Oh, come on. Couldn't your, t could your timing be any worse? <laughs> Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Monica doesn't want us to get too close, you know. She, she wants to open up the Monica route, and that can't exist when all you guys are clamoring towards me. Not that it's a bad thing. Thought you do look pretty cozy over there. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Ah uh, yes, social distancing. Thank you for reminding me, Natsuki. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. Y you're just giving it back? Don't you know what? want to know what happens? I mean, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Huh? Is that really alright with you? I say that mostly because I didn't really plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever to finish it if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bad... I'll kill you. Like tomorrow? I only get part way through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I, get, if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a little necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. It's a face we must protect! Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Yeah, dude. Don't wanna upset Natsuki! Don't wanna see what you can do! Mainly just, uh, scold me 24-7, you know? Nothing weird. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? No, oh, I could skip. No! Monica, I forgot to write a poem! No! So, I'm skipping so I don't run into trouble with her. Okay, so we'll go to Natsuki first. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair that I shared mine with her first. Dot dot dot. Is it amazing, Natsuki? Did I do good this time? Mrs. Gordon Ramsay of poetry? Okay. Well, let's get started with the things I don't like. First of all, um... What, what is it, Mrs. Gordon Ramsay? Well, you don't, you don't like... I, I didn't put a joke about an idiot sandwich somewhere? Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? That's what's the point of sharing in the first place. You can tell me, dude. It's only my first time. Uh... In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel more comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. Like, it was written to cater more to Yuri. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not that great, but let me show you what li real literature looks like. No! And you went and ruined it. 
I hope you're happy. Hey, I didn't mean to, uh, like, upstart you. Wait, no, it's upstage. I didn't mean to upstage you. So in other words, you see, you liked it. Urgh! <coughs> Natsuki's retort gets thought in her throat. Ugh, you're so unbearable. You just, you, you, you don't understand anything, do you, you, you baka? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. She hates you. She loathes you, Inara. She can't stand you. She wants you out of this club. Get out! In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Ugh, fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Mm, here we go. Words of a masterpiece right here. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can race, horses can leap, owls can fly, cheetahs can seek, eagles can run, people can... What can people do? They can make YouTube videos, but that's about it. There we go. Yeah... I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it, Natsuki? Well... Because everyone in high school just thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the po point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing st style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yeah, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing, ev seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for the rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat on its on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. You know what? You, you really are a, a secret genius, you know, Natsuki? I don't give you enough credit. That's what it means to be pro. Yeah, you go, girl. Alright, mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm a lot more animated today. I definitely got less sleep. I don't get it. So, the more sleep I get, the the less animated I am. That's weird. Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. I mean, you're only like a few months younger. I keep saying this. A few months younger than everyone else. Uh, I'll go Sayori next, then Monica, then Yuri, because Yuri's gonna not like my poem. But she's gonna be a little more polite about it. What's this? Skip? Wait, what? That was... I thought you, you were gonna say something about... Oh, it's something that, uh... Natsuki likes. Hmm, I guess not. Okay. I guess Sayori's like the neutral point. Okay, Monica, uh, what will you say about my poem? Hi, Yanaro. I like it, Ianaro. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh jeez, I know, right? Me, a grown man with anime hair. Anime. But I, I'm, I'm liking cute stuff. Unheard of! What kind of a man is that? Get out of here, Ianaro. I disown you. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take it as a compliment. Um... Yeah, she's she's a decent writer. I just sorry, I, I'm I'm brain dead. So her poem kind of flew through my head the first time I read it. Sorry. There's a lot of poems or stories out there that are more, no more than a few simple words. They can be funny, endearing, or even sad, and sometimes they can only be a few lines long. They might even feel like they were written for kids. But if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki's kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. Actually, you know, you're right. Natsuki is... Cuts down the fluff. I think she'd be great at making YouTube videos. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Oh, and there's skip. Uh, let me know how you guys feel when I click this skip button. Because... You know, there's a lot of content to go through, and if I'm, if I'm just reading the same stuff, then it's gonna get redundant. 
It's not that I don't want to hear what they say, it's just I've already heard it. And I don't want you guys to be put through that again. Alright, Yuri, uh, do you like- do you like my poem, Yuri? Uh... Hmm... <laughs> Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, you okay, Yuri? Oh! Ah, uh, sorry! I- I forgot to start speaking! I know, you're speechless at how great my poem is, aren't you? It's fine, don't force yourself. It's hard to take in words of a genius. <laughs> I'm not... I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. I think I'm ready now. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Because it really shows. <laughs> uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I am just making sure. I guess it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! Uh, did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hand. She's a lot more polite about it than Natsuki, uh, understandably. But man, I was ex I was expecting an un unexpected roast from her. Which I did get, actually. <laughs> Is your first time? Oh, it shows, dude. It might take a while, Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I didn't really notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there's specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And there's the option to skip ahead. Sk ahead. It, it's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Phew! I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing skills. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to the greats. This is a literature club, after all. And I only stayed for the girls- You know what? After reading the first uh, side story, Trust, man, and how, what these, you know, at least two of the girls here had to go through just to get to this point. It kind of makes Ionaro's or the main character's motives trivial in the DLC. Like these girls, this club means a lot to them and then Ionaro just barges in and is like, Oh, look at these girls! Ooh. Mate, just go to an online dating site for that sort of stuff, you know? Partake in the beauty of literature and indulge yourself in the vision of the literature club. Please. As they read in tandem and watch each of their expressions change. Is this just gonna be, uh, the usual? If it is, I'll just skip ahead. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress a new member, Yuri! Hey! That's not what I... Uh... You're just... Sorry, this is weird, bro. Reading through this again in s such a weird tone. Maybe you're just jealous that Ian R appreciated my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No... If I was full of myself, dearie, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly... Mmm... Uglified. Uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't a one whose books magically grew a size bigger as soon as Ian R started showing up. Yes, uh... I revel in my book collection, Natsuki! Oh, uh, Nazuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Ianaro! She's just trying to make me look bad! That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't happen in first place! What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out of reader, not force them to figure it out. Oh, you have a point, Natsuki. Mm, I hate when people all overcomplicate things. Let me explain to that, Ianaro. Wait! There's a reason why we have so much, so much uh, de deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also waste. You understand, right, Ianaro? You know? Uh, well... Hmm... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, but whomever I agree with, they probably think more highly of me. So of course that's gonna be... Uh, okay. Alright. 
Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I pro most likely cut back to this part. It was just the same old roasting scene, and I didn't prepare my heat gauge for that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and choose Natsuki. Um... Yuri! You're really talented. Uh, <laughs> well... But Natsuki has a point, you know? I think that... I rack my brain and attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with a few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem really did a good job at that. Okay, so I guess... I guess my imagination wasn't strong enough to understand her poem. Now I feel terrible. It did, didn't it? <laughs> Suck it, Yuri. Show us how much you know. Uh, that's not... Natsuki. I think that's enough. Huh? Me? But she was so mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look. When we talked about it yesterday, it was right. Writing really is a personal thing. And sharing it can definitely be hard. It looks like we learned that today. Every small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. I glance over my shoulder. Sayori is nodding vigorously. Yeah, so... You don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Uh... Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Uh, uh, thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that barely audible. Yuri? Question mark. Yuri looks at me dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said. So you don't need to feel threatened either. Oh, well, if you say so. Hey! It's not like you need to apologize for me, Ionaro. Sheesh! Natsuki takes a break. breath. I... The thing about... Uh, Natsuki glances around the room. Would everyone stop staring at me? Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. So Yuri and Monica look away. Hmph. Anyway. The thing about your uh, magnificent book collection. I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Uh, Sayori! You made it a little bit more awkward, Sayori. I I'll go make some tea. Eh? I, I was trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. But it was a little awkward, you know? Well, <laughs> now that we're past that... Everyone's reading each other's poems, right? I hope it was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, Ionaro. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing run we got a little bit too used to. <laughs> so, my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. Hmm, got it. I will leave immediately. No, not at all, not at all. There's still time before we go home. So we should all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature-related stuff in the club room. So maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Eh? About what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is friends. It's having fun! <laughs> of course! Well, I guess that's why you're the vice president, Sayori. Yeah, she's got her, she's got your vision nice and held intact. Vision. I, I like that side story. In the end, though, Monica's right. Being in a literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. Another thing I notice is that when Monica talks to me in the DDLC game, she looks at me a lot more, or at the camera a lot more than she does in like the side story. Hmm, it's very interesting. Okay, everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right, well, mostly. Ianara, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. 
It was a neat thing to talk about with everybody. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Maybe you'll learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Yeah, I'm going to use it as knowledge to get in with some of the other girls, you know what I mean? I don't know. Now that I know like what these girls had to be put through, the whole harm aspect of Ianaro's character kind of seems selfish in a way, you know? Well, I did I did make an essay about this game, and I did mention the fact that it's a deconstruction of the dating simulator. So this could also be a, like a a call out to the dating simulator genre. Well, not a call out, but like I said, a deconstruction. Like, hmm, here's the dating simulator, but shown in a different light. In a light where real consequences happen. When you pseudo toy with characters' as lives, it's a disturbing aspect that I kind of find intrigue with this game. Anyways, it seems to be the same. I will continue on and see if there's anything new. Alright, I'll save. And I guess we're gonna do the Yuri, uh, not the Yuri, the Sayuri version. Okay, um, I guess we'll load. I intend to make everyone happy! Everybody! I will not let it happen like last time! I, I actually don't know what the true ending is. I only know that this is the pathway to take it. Basically, you need to do every every single character's is his little events. Unless they changed it in the plus version. Who knows? Okay, so Sayori, let's see if I can do a perfect review. Uh, you're all about happiness and sadness, I think? Okay. Um uh, Nature Uh Entropy is more of a Yuri thing. Um Summer? Oh no! These two are almost synonymous. Uh, Sayori and Natsuki. Mm, daydream? Fun. Uh, boop. Eternity! Um, heartbeat? Okay, I'm getting more Natsukis again. Happiness. Uh, alone. Cry. Oh, no. That was a Sayori's so one. I feel bad, man. Broken. A oh, broken! No! Yeah, she is the sad ones. Star escape. Hope! Yay! Hope! Yes! Sayori, so hope. I wish I had more positive ones for Sayori. So yeah. Um. Fashion. Rainbow. Vacation. Oh, I was in a roll. Depression. Grief. Oh, this is getting a bit dark. Fear. Disoriented, okay. Oh, you guys. Hi again, Yanaro. Hello again, Monica. I wonder if Monica is aware of the fact that I'm constantly going back. I wonder how she feels about this. Like, I want to make everyone happy in a way, so... Does she hold it against me that I'm sort of saves... Is the term saves coming? Yeah. I don't know, Monica. Do you appreciate what I'm doing? If anything, it'll make her a little more uh, jealous because I'm spending more time with them than her. Man, Dan Silvedo, I just want a Monica route, you know? I slump over to the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. Aw, oh, same dude. Oh, I'm dozing in and out. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. I'm probably gonna seem really compa lame compared to the other clubs though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. <laughs> Hopefully I can see the festival. Or remnants of it, who knows. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, we have some goofs, some gaffs, some laughs. Ah! Sorry guys, don't know what happened. I think I drank too much diamond water. 
We just have a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm... That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, no one will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So if it's more po so it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori's taking this really seriously. Like, she's using her brain, Iyanaro. You do know that she has a brain, right? Or ha has... Have you always thought that Sayori is like... Oh, this, you know, childish... Childhood friend. Nah, man. There's a whole world behind her head. And it's a very sad one. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Uh, what kind? Like cupcakes. Well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ha! <laughs> You're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. Ah, uh, that wasn't why you suggested it? Cupcakes... <laughs> cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is, then. <laughs> oh, hungry. Anyways, we need to still work out the details of the event itself. Hang on, Monica. Sayuri needs to eat something. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayuri is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it'd be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh, trust me, dude. It's not a pretty sight. Ah! Oh! Okay, sorry. I, I don't know why I got freaked out. I opened my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the nap ping club. <laughs> nice callback, huh? Does our school have a napping club? Well, this is what the DDLC was, was originally. The napping club. The Doki Doki Napping Club. DDNC. Now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You'll need to get used to it. Oh no, not the anime. Please, anything but that. <laughs> I glanced over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. She probably did. <laughs> It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know, Sayori. You're always looking out for me. <laughs> it's what I do best. It's, yeah, it's what Sayori does best. She looks out for other people. But yeah, that's a problem, Sayori. What about you? You you look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You tell her, Leonardo. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh... Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, he's written all over you. Eh? Sayori glances around herself. How's it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Oh, it's time to use my detective skills. Look, your hair is sticking out all over around here. Ah! I run my fingertips around the side of Sayori's hair trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. Has it always, has it ever been straight, Ianaro? And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, uh, but, but no one would ever notice that. Only you would, Ianaro, you, you perfectionist! Of course they would. No one's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't really care about that. Hey, you meanie! And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayuri? Actually, that's gonna be a weird sight. Sayori with her blazer buttoned up. Why do you... Uh, 
Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Okay, that's harsh, Ionaro. Eh, that's super mean. Sorry, but you thank me later. I start to button. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Eh? D don't say that. You make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I mean, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed soon that it doesn't suit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my book collection got bigger again. Mm -hmm. Don't say that loud. You're so embarrassing, Sayori. <laughs> Anyway, it looked much better now, so... Ah, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? It's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all! Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. If this undid my work, Sayori! Phew! That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms around and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't have a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Well, I'm sure there's gonna be boys out there who are into the, uh, unbuttoned blazer fashion trend, I guess. <laughs> Why are you saying that like it's a good thing, Sayori? You don't want a boyfriend? If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do, do things like this. But Sayori... What if I was the boyfriend? And you'd take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say it's anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So, maybe you should come over and wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Here, Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! You know, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you re remember to write a poem last night? Hmm, I don't know, dude. I kind of forgot. Okay, I will put down Sayori. She will have nice things to say. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. Hmm, you know, looking back at it, maybe Sayori really didn't want, like, a boyfriend, and she just wanted to be friends. Looking back at my previous option, maybe it was kind of selfish to try and pursue her in a romantic way. Like I said, I love the deconstructive nature of this game in terms of the dating simulator genre. Oh my goodness! This is so good, Ionaro! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori... I just, look, you're seriously overreacting. I just looked at an online poem and thought, hmm, Sayori will like this. I honestly had no idea what I'm doing. 20 random words. Maybe that's why. Maybe I... Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion had to be a little more constructive than this. You know what I think uh, Sayori... I think Sayori likes things that relate to her the most. And in this case, it's like happy things and sad things. Are you sure you don't... Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. 
I think I'm under I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem, it's an Ianara poem. And that makes it extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Hmm. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm, I'm just really happy that you wrote this one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of the, you in front of the room. Uh, let's see what uh, Natsuki says about my poem. Dot dot dot. Okay, Miss Gordon Ramsay. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't invoke any emotions. It's sort of meh, you know? So basically, it's not as it's not cute enough for your tastes. You want to get smacked? Oh, oh believe me, Natsuki. That's the last thing I want from you. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine now. Not that you like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can leap. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. I think I was possessed for a few seconds. The more I do this, the more insane I get. Uh, we'll go Yuri next. Hello, Yuri. What are you gonna say about my splendid poem? Wait. You gonna? You also gonna say you don't like it? Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um. I guess she's that polite. She she doesn't have as many criticisms that that Natsuki has. Ah. Okay. Unless it's much later. No. Okay. I guess if if it's not like eloquent and stuff, then Yuri's like, ah. Oh, I mean, you tried. <laughs> yeah. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Uh, <laughs> well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually very different. Hmm, well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, Sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you don't show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. But I think it's the kind of vibe I get when I'm reading your poem. Hmm. You know what, Monica, you're right. I really am concerned about Sayori's well-being, okay? I, I, honestly, I just wanted the best for her. But I've failed! I've failed! Sorry, I just had another flashback. Wow, wait, why is my eye watering? What the heck? Okay, let me move on. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Uh-huh. Oh, well, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayuri's writing has a kind of gentle feel to it. I, I, can, I can tell that she likes to explore with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected, am I right? Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, Sayori is more on the emotional spectrum. Natsuki, the cutesy spectrum. Yuri, the more like verbose spectrum. Alright, here we go. Uh, we're back to the heat gauge. I don't have it with me, but help me! Help me, Sayori! Uh, help me, Eddie! Natsuki? Natsuki glares at me, drawing up any words I had in my mouth. So instead I turn to Yuri. Uh, Yuri? Uh, but Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Say Yuri! Eh? Yeah! Everyone's fighting is making Sayuri uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Ianaro. Yeah, uh, consider the people around you guys. You know, take this to another room if you need a fight. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into her conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what I stuck up. Jerk face! Jerk face! She's being. 
she would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself, woman? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! <laughs> Natsuki, Yuri... You guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems... They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? Because... Well... Also... Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Uh, Sayori... Sorry, Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Uh, uh, I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is vice president. And I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things. But I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that means Sayori's amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that again. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good, good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. I mean, you say that, Monica, but I feel like you're kind of responsible for Sayuri's, you know... Increased turmoil, which I wonder about, because those two have such a great friendship before this club. Did her epiphany mess her up that much? It's kind of depressing to think about. They were, they were such good buddies. Such a genuine person doesn't make a good president, regardless of what she says. If only I could get a chance to talk to her a little more. I know, right? We all wish that, don't we? A Monica route? And I'm back to this. I guess I'll say right here. Alright, so I did the first day complete. I got everyone's events. Uh, got some laughs. My throat hurts, my back hurts, my chest hurts. Everything hurts, guys. I'm not used to uploading this frequently, to be honest. Sometimes I question it, if, if it's worth it, but, you know, I love this game. I'm giving it my attention. Alright, let's see if there's any extra side stories. Exit the, the DLC and return to desktop. Oh, we do! Oh, yay, we have the other ones! Okay. So, alrighty, so this is going to be around like two hours long, and uh, yeah, I guess we can start with understanding. Begin this side story? So yes, please. Take me through, uh, not memory lane. Take me through the emotions. 